welcome to Talking About. I'm John Griffith, and sitting in for Kara Kilduff is Ray Setti. <laughs> welcome. Thank you for having me. <laughs> if you've been watching the show um, about two months ago, Kara had some technical difficulties getting into the building, and she co-hosted the, the show by cell phone. Um, similar technical difficulties came up. They really like cracked down on security in this building, and she forgot her. She literally forgot her passport to get into the building. So. Hopefully she'll <laughs> have that settled up by next month and we'll be, we'll be good to go. <laughs> and we'll be good to go. <laughs> we'll be good tonight. <laughs> and speaking of good to go, uh, those of you who have been watching the show for a while will know our first guest, uh, Richie Alexandro, is back with us. Welcome back. It's always good to see you. Thanks, John. It's great to be back. <laughs> it really uh -huh. is. Every time I come in this building, everyone's so welcoming and just going to miss Kara. Kara, yeah. come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to do my <laughs> best, Kara. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, tonight's, tonight's hour, I would say we have a few returning guests, and she was so excited about seeing, seeing the people who have been here before and seeing the people f for the first time, and sorry, carry your passport, woman. <laughs> but you I've known for more than half my life. Yep, and uh, I just inscribed one of my books for you, and I made reference to that okay we used to work in uh, Burger King mm -hmm. in our late teens I guess yeah right and uh, yeah, that's the only one who used to work in Burger King in your late teens <laughs> 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 that's, how, that's what got me through college <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now you've been channeling your creativity in, in new and different directions yes um, I just I can't believe the latest development because I'm, I'm just really an amateur writer who never aspired to get published and uh, a benefactor came out of the blue for us, okay. me and, and nine other poets, uh, and said he wanted to bankroll our books. Oh wow. Yeah, and we had a, a big, he's a sculptor and uh, with a gallery and we had the book release at his gallery a couple nights ago. Okay, and the book is called uh, Unfazed in the Teeth of a Microscope. So it's, uh, well, it's, poet it's a collection, poetry collection for the most part, right? Yeah. I write free verse, I write some rhyme, and then I kind of write uh, in a rap style. I don't call it rap because, uh, you know, uh, I think rap has to be backed up by a beat. Mm -hmm. and but you can, you can pull a mental rhythm. Right, I, and since I perform at open mics, I will uh, perform it occasionally. I'll have a, a drummer behind me, so that's that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so we've talked in the past about um, yeah a lot of your online work and how how deeply personal it is, and you know, it's just like it pulling you know the 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 pain and the joy from your soul and getting it onto the page, and and everything in between, and that's that's an amazing gift, and it's it's really appreciated. I mean, uh, just. How does, I, mean, I think I stated part of it already, but how exactly does your process begin? Um, I am not disciplined in the way <laughs> that, you know, sometimes you read about a writer's process and they're so regimented. Uh, like if you read about novelists, they, ha they have to be regimented because they're writing hundreds and hundreds of pages, you know. Um, as a poet, you really have uh, the leeway to just kind of be like, la -dee da walk around, and <laughs> oh, something strikes me. I have, you know, what I do is always carry a pen and paper, mm -hmm. and what hits me is usually the title of the poem or the first line of the poem. Mm -hmm. And as long as I jot that down, you know, I, I'm good to go as far as, you know, I know I can sit down later on, and the inspiration that hit at that point is still going to be there. So, well, you write as well. And, and yeah, mm -hmm. and you know what? And many times when, when, when you're in that moment of inspiration, you know, you really have to capture that. You know, I do, I do a lot of writing myself. I do some poetry. I would not consider myself a poet. However, I, I have written a lot of material over the years. And so many times I find when you're in that moment and you can capture that moment and you really can, can gather what's coming to you in that moment, you know, sometimes, for me, I find it's some of the best works that I've ever written. And, and to know to even to go with the flow of that. And, you know, it's kind of interesting when I, what, with, with this is how if you look at the pages of this, it's not typeset. It's all handwritten material. It's all handwritten. It's like, it's like something's been pulled out of the pages of your journal. You know, and I find that to be so much more organic. Yeah, I've, I've been getting a lot of good feedback about that. And also the cover, which was done by my sister-in-law, um, who 
wanted to go to art school mm -hmm. and then thought, you know, well, let me be a little bit more practical with my choice. And she became a speech therapist. So when I got this opportunity, I knew who to call, you know, because right. uh, I knew she wasn't necessarily as active as she used to be. And uh, there's kind of parallels uh, with us. We were both the, the oldest sibling in our family and felt so much pressure mm -hmm. as, as young kids uh, to perform and, you know, be amazing and be almost like an appendage of our parents, you know? Sure. Hey, a, lot of, a lot of pressure there. And you, you didn't per, uh, aspire, per se, to really have something published, is that correct? Right. And it, this was just an opportunity that was presented to you? Yeah, this is, uh, I'm not a religious guy, but something like this really <laughs> <laughs> challenged me, you know, because uh, I'm just a guy who writes for enjoyment and to perform at open mics. Um, and one of the hosts at my main open mic, uh, Megan, uh, had befriended this sculptor, mm -hmm. and um, that, that's how it happened. Um, I really love that idea of kind of, uh, you know, paying it forward or, uh, to me, you know, writing is, a, is like a solitary exercise, but when you bring it to an open mic, it becomes a communal thing, and then when you, you know, write a book and people come to your signing and people are, you know, calling me and messaging me, I got the book, you know? Uh, it becomes obviously so much more communal, you know, and I'm able to bring my sister-in-law into it. You know, there's just so many mm -hmm. threads that come into it. Uh, po you know, poetry for me is something so very personal. How do you feel actually about having your soul exposed, if you will, to to the public and really sharing some, I'm sure, what what are very pro private things for you? Yeah. Um, well. It, it's kind of therapeutic for me. Uh, I was diagnosed as bipolar when I was 18. So a lot of my stuff has to do with mental illness. Um, I was inspired by my mom, who also has bipolar, uh, and she wrote. So we have similarities in our writing. You know, mm -hmm. I, I keep it short. I mean, you write the way that you want to read, basically, right? Absolutely. So I write short poems that uh, I think I, I pepper stuff with, with humor. I, I try, you know, I try even if I'm writing a poem about cancer or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, to try, I, I want to take the reader on a little bit of a journey, you know. Mm. Is there something in here that you could, uh, a short one that you could recite or, sure. or read off for us? Because I, for as long as I've known you, you've been incredibly creative and it, it's good to see uh, re results in physical form as opposed to just the, the digital that I'm used to and 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 the, the oral Th now I, I texture right, texture right. helps I'm, a lot I'm hoping that it's very accessible when people put it put you know pick it up and mm -hmm. uh, it's like looking into somebody's notebook so it may hopefully it's a little bit more engrossing um, I'll read uh, this one's called first date and usually, like if I'm at an open mic, I'll give a little bit of background uh, where the poem came from. I had a crush on this girl for a very long time. Uh, might have been 10 years from the first time I met her to finally we had a date. And I uh, drove out, and uh, this is a little bit of how the date went. <laughs> it's called First Date. She was thinking about becoming a nun. I didn't know this until we sat down. <laughs> Perfect. Unrequited, unattainable, unreciprocated love. At dinner, she talked of prayer groups and retreats. I just wanted to kiss her. Should I have initiated grace, invented a favorite saint? She wanted to hear some poems. I didn't read the one about girls' asses or my inability to pray. I decided against a great many of them. Those are the ones I really should have read. <laughs> it's, it's 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 right down to to you. It's just yeah, you know, stripped bare, and I'm sure I'm sure there's a lot more um, raw material in there as well, and covering the the whole emotional spectrum. But um, in the interim, where can people find the book? Uh, definitely on Amazon, and they're telling us that um, 
barnesandnoble.com is also going to carry it. And if you bump into me, I probably have copies <laughs> in my car. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, just let me open up my trunk. <laughs> hey, folks, I got a book for you. But I, I, I really appreciate knowing you, and I appreciate uh, you sharing your art with us because I, and you're such an amazingly talented guy, and I'm, I'm privileged to know you. Well, I appreciate you guys, and every time, you know, Ted, my brother, and I get a call, we're, you know, always ready to go. Okay. Well, I'm probably going to hit you up around election time for, for a political <laughs> chat. Oh I know boy. it's not your favorite thing to do, but I know <laughs> when you I better get the give, <laughs> You better give us about an hour or so <laughs> for that. Yeah. So, but thank you again for joining us.